the cost of transformation. So I have run a monthly membership group called Why Wait, which I absolutely adore. Um, we have a really active Facebook community. We have four group calls per month. We have a scavenger hunt, like who says releasing weight has to be boring. And I often have inquiries about people wanting to join, you know, new people, and they balk at the price. And up until now, I've like, I don't ever want to do a, a justification thing. I never want to do a hard sell. That's not me. You know, <laughs> my, my ethos in life is you do you. So for the people who see the value in it, they come, we have a great time. They have magnificent transformations. Um, and for the people who don't see the value in it, that's cool. You know, <laughs> But I just wanted to talk today about the price of transformation because, you know, my membership program is $120 a month. And I know for a lot of people, they're like, oh, how can you charge that? Or how is it worth that? Or, or whatever. But the thing is, a lot of us buy things without even thinking about it. So for me, when I was at my biggest, um, you know, 150 kilos, I would easily eat a block of chocolate or two a day. So best case scenario, that's $3 a day. 30 days in a month, there's 90 bucks just there, minimum. And that's only if I ate one block, sometimes I eat two. I'd often eat Maccas two or three times a week. That'd easily be a $10 spend there each time. So give that a, a nice thing of say $10 a time, twice a week, $20. There's $80 a week. So we've got 90 from the chocolate, 80 from the Maccas, we're already at 170. Then there's the, the coffee here, the coffee and cake, you know, the bits and pieces and all this sort of stuff. I'm not ever doing this to be the hard sell. Like I don't, and I don't even want to promise that come in and work with me and you'll never have these things again because no one can guarantee that. But the thing is we, well, the point I'm trying to make is we do spend the money, but A, it doesn't come out in one hit. And also B, because it's very unconscious, we discount it. Like if you truly like join Why Wait or don't join Why Wait, but I encourage you this month, well, probably not this month because <laughs> most of us are in lockdown. So our um, incidental spending is low. But once we're allowed out again, just notice, just observe, just keep track, not to judge yourself, not to get down on yourself, but how much are you spending on a chocolate here, a coffee there, a cake there, Mac is here, can't be bothered cooking. I'm pretty sure for most of us who have this as an issue, overeating, comfort eating, all that sort of stuff, it would well exceed $120 per month. I know for me it did. Um, I managed to save $3,000 towards my tummy tuck in a year, just putting away the money I would have spent when I filled up the car and grabbed a chocolate bar when I walked past and grabbed a donut, all those little bits, I transferred them into another account and over a year I'd saved $3,000. So there's that aspect of it. The other aspect of it is we don't ever balk at joining a gym and paying 20 or $30 a week sometimes. Sometimes it's cheaper, but often it'd be like at least 17. I've never joined a really good gym that was less than 17. And when I did CrossFit, I think that was 45 a week. We will spend that on personal training session. I'm a qualified personal trainer, I've had personal training clients. I can sell out personal training like that. I just show a before and after and everyone rocks up and they want to buy that. But I don't sell that anymore. Why? Because I feel out of integrity. Because the thing is people want to buy the answer. You can never buy the answer. Even if you have plastic surgery, even if you have any sort of surgery, you can't buy the solution. You have to do the work. And if you don't want to do the work, you're not going to get the sustainable result. And I don't say that with you have to do the work or to be judgmental. I honestly say it with love. So if you're not going to value, if you're not going to invest in yourself, like, and please don't take this as me trying to push. Like, I don't ever want anybody to come and work with me who doesn't feel really invested in themselves, not in me. I'm not the answer. <laughs> no book, no coach, no person, no thing outside of you is the answer. Anything that tells you they are, they're just trying to sell you something. You know what I mean? You have the answer. All I am is a guide, is a sounding board, is a mirror, is... Uh, a, um, you know, a coach, a person who will help direct you to do your inner work. And it's confronting for some people because we don't want to do it. And when I look at what I've invested personally, like I'm a person who I would never charge what I'm not willing to spend. I invest significantly more than I charge my members each month in my own personal development. And this is not a like, I am awesome, like nothing like that. But it's just like, I really value the, the people digging into my mindset, stretching me, asking me questions I don't want to answer, copying my foul mouth because I'm a bit sweary. Oh, I don't want to hear this storming away with love, storming back. Like that's what I pay them for, to ask the hard questions, to stretch me, to push me. It's not comfortable, but transformation isn't. If it was comfortable, we wouldn't need to. We'd all be there already. 
it's having that person lovingly stretch you, lovingly encourage you out of your shell. Sometimes not quite so lovingly, a bit more of a butt kick, but knowing when to push and knowing when to stop. That's what you pay for. And if you come to Why Wait, I'm not going to guarantee you're going to get results. And that's off-putting for some people too. They're like, you don't even guarantee results. As I said, nobody can. Because how many times have we done a 12-week program or eight-week program? We've gone hard. We've, got the, we've had the after. So we've got these beautiful before and after photos. What about after the after? Nobody ever advertises that. So we're like, oh, I need to do it again. And we keep investing and we keep doing more. And I'm done. That's exhausting. That's tiring. Transformation is a lot of bloody work. It's never ending. It's cyclical. And there's sometimes where you feel the burn and you want to do lots. And there's sometimes where you want to rest and, you know, recharge. So it's like the seasons, you know, <laughs> you have the, the spring where you're planting and you're really excited and you're doing all the stuff. And the summer where you're growing and stretching, and the autumn when you're harvesting and the winter where you're kind of like, hmm, I'm just resting. I'm going to hibernate for a bit until I come around again. I don't force, I don't push, I don't do that with my sales because the thing is people who want to work with me, they find me <laughs> and, and we have this great relationship and they realize that $120 a month is an absolute bargain because it is, you know, and then um, we have such a great community. We have such a, a lovely thing. If I dropped the price and made it really cheap, heaps of people would flood in but then they wouldn't do anything and I have to deal with all these like we'd love whinging people going, I thought this would be the answer, but nothing is the answer. You are the answer. So if you're willing to do the stuff, to stretch, to look where it's uncomfortable, to dive deep, come do that with us. I'd love you to. But if you're like, oh, I don't know, it seems a lot of money, you know, that's okay. It's not for you. But I do encourage you, whether you join us or not, to have a look at your incidental spending. You know, how much do you spend? I spent $300 on an ab wave. I think I used twice and became a really expensive clothes horse. The same with my treadmill. You know, when I've added up what I've spent on my weight journey, it's been in excess of like 80 grand. And I always found I would really easily justify buying something where I was outsourcing it, like buying personal training sessions, buying all this stuff. But I really struggled to invest in the mindset stuff because I didn't want to go in. <sighs> you know, and I get that. But when you realize, and learn to trust yourself and listen to your own intuition and your own guidance and, and trust your body. That's where the true transformation comes from. And it's not always easy. It's not always comfortable. It's not always pretty. and doesn't always have, you know, um, all the bells and whistles that the other things have, but it's lasting. And as I said, if you wouldn't hesitate to go and buy a gym membership, why wait is kind of like personal training for your mind. Well, not really, cause it's not one-on-one -on -one. group training for your mind. If you go to a physical gym, they have machines. So that's what the modules are in Why Wait. You watch them, you, you take action on them, you know, that's the workout equipment. If you come to a group call, that's like a class. I'm out the front leading it, you're there, you can say, hey, I'm struggling with this machine, can we go over my results? Like you have that guided thing. If you just hang out in the Facebook group, it's like the gyms where, like I have, I've been to a few gyms, they give free breakfast or they have like chips and stuff. Like what's the deal with a gym having a cafeteria with all this junk food? But if you just go and hang out with your friends and eat chips and then go, oh, this gym sucks. I'm not losing any weight. I, I, do, I don't mean to sound facetious, but you get out of anything what you put into it. I'm not saying you have to turn up 110%, go hard or go home, go all the time. That leads to burnout. But you have to do something. And, you know, whether you join the gym and then never turn up and don't lose any weight and blame the gym or join my weight, never come to a call and go, oh, that's another thing. It didn't work. That that that's you know life is what you make of it so if you've already made the decision that's not for you great but you know it's like it's really being open to exploring things in new ways and being really honest with ourselves how much are we spending here and there or or um you know adding up chocolate ice cream drive through maccas takeaway how much is that costing you um and as i said i'll never promise that you'll never do those things again hell i still sometimes do it but doing it consciously, doing it less often and saving money, you can actually, by investing this 120 a month in yourself, you can actually save. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about it. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.